What's up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on the Imperious Sun Exotic Ghost Shell. This is the brand new exotic ghost shell for the Vow of the Disciple Raid. So if you want to find out how to get your hands on it, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now with the launch of a brand new raid we have new weapons and armor and also new amazing cosmetics to earn. With that we get a brand new exotic ghost with the Vow of Disciple raid. Now to earn this ghost you need to complete a puzzle within the pyramid. Now you first need to complete the first encounter of the raid which will take you through the disciples bog into the pyramid itself. Now once you drop down inside the pyramid if you follow the route that I'm taking here on screen you'll go past a dissected hive worm. And if we continue past this area, this will take us to the Acquisition. This is the zone where the second encounter takes place, and the puzzle itself is between the first and second encounter just around this corner. Now once you enter this room, you'll see a huge amount of symbols. There are 25 individual symbols in total, all of which allow you to interact with them. Now each symbol has its own name. Now to help you out with the callouts if you approach each one, its individual name will show on the left hand side just underneath the radar, making it easier to work out which symbol is what and to help you with the names of each one. Now our good friends over in Raid Secrets have already documented all the symbols and their names, so to help you guys with the callouts, I've left a link to that down in the video description below. Now once you've familiarised yourself with the room, the task now is to identify which symbols you need to interact with. Now if you make your way over to this hole in the wall and drop down and turn around, there's another wall with individual symbols displayed. If you approach this, underneath the map on the left hand side it simply states remember. So we need to remember the sequences that we see here and interact with them in the appropriate way. Now before activating the symbols we first need to better understand this particular wall. The top and middle row stay the same each and every time with only the four bottom symbols changing after a wipe. Now the top four symbols represent guardians, which in itself is a reference to us. On the middle row this identifies how we need to interact with the symbol itself. Now the icon that looks like a teardrop represents enter, the pyramid with the beams coming out the top represents commune or interact, and the final one with the red circle with the white stake represents kill, and this can be achieved by shooting the symbol. Now as we said earlier all the symbols on the bottom row change each time after a wipe, and these are the symbols that we need to interact with. So as an example if we take a look at this first column on the left, the guardian needs to enter the black garden. Now in order to translate that to the symbols outside that simply means we need to melee the black garden garden symbol. Now as for the second column the guardian needs to enter earth so once again needs to melee the earth symbol in the other room. Now as for the third column the guardian needs to commune with stop. Now commune is where you need to actually activate the symbol itself instead of meleeing or shooting it. And for the fourth and final row we have a guardian who needs to kill hive so in order to enter that sequence they'll need to shoot the hive symbol. Now after some trial and error you don't in fact need to even enter all four to complete the sequence. Now massive shout out to Viper and Rev who helped work this out but in fact you can get away with entering just two from the sequence in the other room. Now the most consistent way to enter this is by sticking to the ones that require you to enter or commune with a particular symbol. We weren't able to successfully enter any of the sequences that required a kill interaction. Now unlike previous raid puzzles that require you to enter a sequence consecutively, you in fact need to enter these at the same time. Now you can achieve this with as little as two guardians, as you'll only need to enter two symbols in the correct manner in order to successfully complete a sequence. Now as you can see here, I'm entering or melleeing Savathun while Rev is communing with the Black Garden. And by doing this at the same time, we successfully complete this sequence, unlocking a brand new piece of lore for the Vow of Disciple lore book. Now once you've entered a correct entry, all the symbols in the room will turn dark. This means you won't be able to make any further entries, however if you make your way to the second encounter and start it and then wipe as a fire team, you can actually work your way back to this room and all the symbols will have respawned. Now it's important to note that each time you wipe or respawn, the sequence that you're required to enter will change each and every time. Now as we said at the beginning of the video, the top four symbols of Guardian will always remain the same. All four symbols in the middle in terms of how you interact with the symbol itself once again will remain the same, with only the four symbols at the bottom differing each time. So once you've wiped at the second encounter, work your way back, check the symbols on the wall and now identify which two symbols it is you're going to interact with at the same time. And as we mentioned, as long as those two symbols require you to enter, which is melee, or interact, which is activate, this will be the most consistent way of entering that sequence. Now from here you'll need to rinse and repeat the process of entering your symbols, going to the second encounter, wiping, returning to this room and re-entering the brand new symbols that are available. 
Each time you do this, you'll unlock a new lore tab. And once you've unlocked all 10 for the Valve Disciples lore book, you'll be able to claim your triumph from the Imperious Sun exotic ghost shell. Now this is a pretty awesome looking ghost shell, which is highly reminiscent of the aesthetic of the raid. Now from what I've seen of the raid so far, it's absolutely awesome. So if you get a chance to jump in, I highly recommend that you do so. And if you want to get your hands on this incredible looking ghost shell, then this is how you do it and how you need to interact with all the symbols. Once again, massive shout out to Viper and Rev. And be sure to use the link down in the video description below if you need any help with any of the callouts for each symbol. So there we have it guys, that's how you get your hands on the Imperious Exotic Sun Ghost Shell, exclusive to the Vow of Disciple Raid. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.